The Trench is um, an interesting film, and in a way, as time goes by, it becomes more interesting. I wanted to make a film about the First World War, which obsessed me, uh, obsesses me, and I wanted it to be super accurate. Um, and uh, we took enormous pains to get everything right, uh, from the you know the badges on the on the caps to the state of the trenches and. July 1916, everything was scrupulously accurate. And one of the things I wanted to do was to have no stars in the film. And I achieved that. The only thing that's happened is they've since become enormous stars. But actually, at the time, when I cast Daniel Craig, he wasn't well known at all. Um, ben Wishaw, it was his very first film. He was doing his A-levels. Um, Killian Murphy, I think, had made one little film in Ireland. Danny Dyer uh, had yet to um, take over the pub in East Enders. Um, Julian Ryan Tut, James Darcy, um, all these guys have gone on to have fantastic careers, and they owe it all to me, of course. Um, but they were unknowns at the time. And the most famous actor in it was Paul Nichols, who had just come out of East Enders. Um, but um, and that, that slightly worried me because I didn't watch EastEnders. I didn't know how famous he was. Um, but they were all unknowns at the time. So when you saw the film when it was released in 1999, none of those faces would make you say, oh, gosh, he's the guy in X or Y. Um, but the film has, has a kind of slightly mythic status because all these people were in it when they were starting out or at the very beginnings of their career and uh, are now, you know, stellar, um, shining bright um, film stars. And um, But the film was, you know, it cost a million pounds. It was an art house war movie. Um, it was a fascinating experience for me to do. It got a release in the UK, it got released, uh, you know, an art house release in America. Um, it, sh it played in you know, European, I went to film festivals with it. Um, you can still buy it on DVD um, 20 years later. Uh, it has a DVD life. So uh, knowing the nature of the business, for me, it was actually quite successful. Um, nobody got rich, um, but the film is still out there, and every now and then it pops up on television. And so it, uh, it has a life, and that's the thing that, um, in a way, as a novelist, troubles me slightly about television and film is that sometimes it can seem ephemeral. If you missed it on the night, it's gone forever. And somehow you want you, the films you've written to have the same kind of longevity as the books you've written, but it's not that easy. But so I look back at the trench and I'm still very friendly with the cast. Uh, it was, it, I learned a tremendous amount. Um, I think it's a, it's a, a good film. There are things I do differently now. But as a portrait of the reality of trench life in World War I, which was in a way my main ambition, I don't think it can be faulted.